just say that you're going into TNA or you're going into Ring of Honor or WWE. No one knows who you are. Just like you see on WWE, this is old school stuff they used to do, but they still kind of do it. They do it. Um, they'll bring you in and put you over. And what they'll do is they'll bring you down the ring, you'll get a match with somebody who's really not top notch, and you'll do a two, three minute squash match. You know how it is. You do all your moves. You do all your moves, the guy makes a little comeback, not much, you stop him, bang, 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 do everything you can, and you beat him. One, two, three. Not even all your moves. Don't do them all. Not all of them. Just three powerful three, moves. Three powerful That's bases. That's what John Cena did when he came in in the first week. Have you show, yeah. all, you show all your moves? You yeah. Wow them. You yeah, you use what makes you look good, but you don't want to go overboard with it. You want to do what makes you look powerful. If you're coming in as a heel, especially, you got to look, for you, Austin, you got to look really dynamic yeah. and big. Yeah, yeah. You know, and same with you. And then we'll switch off. It doesn't mean you guys are better than anybody else, but everybody has to take their turn getting beat. Right. But getting beat is also an art. Because oh, yeah, the, be the guys back when the day when I was wrestling, who were the job guys, were better than the main eventers because they worked with everybody. And their job was to make that guy look really good. And if they didn't make him look good, the guy didn't look good, he didn't get over. They had to put him over and make him look strong. So you're only as good as your opponent. So if the opponent doesn't sell for you, then it makes you look weak. Guys, and, and if you look at uh, AWA um, on ESPN Classic at night, those guys 20, 25 years ago, I knew most of them, uh, a lot of those guys do jobs on there are good workers. They don't let them do a whole lot because they're the jobbers. But they make the other guys look big. Last night I watched it, they had Power Twins on. You know the Power Twins? These guys I did commercial auditions with maybe 10 years ago from Las Vegas. They're identical twins, about 260 pounders. They work real well. Team tag team. Yeah. Um, what were their, their names? Power Twins. Oh, but they didn't go by. That's what they went by, the Power Twins. And they worked as bouncers in Vegas. But then they did a few things. But they had the one guy that was the fall guy for the whole match. It was just one guy who was a nobody. He took the beating. You'll see that a lot in old school. Uh, Hulk Hogan versus John Smith. You know, he's like a little guy that this is tall and Barry you know Horowitz. what? Yeah, Barry Hart. Oh, Barry Hart made a name though. Yeah. At the end, though. Was Brooklyn Brawler always did jobs. The Brooklyn Brooklyn Brawler was one of the best wrestlers in the business. He's still trying. Wasn't he Doink the Clown for a while? Yeah. Did Doink the Clowns for a while as well? Oh, there's been a lot of Doinks. I wrestled one of the Doinks here. I don't know who it was. Oh. This is a gang of Doinks. Yeah, a lot of Doinks. There's so, no, right now in the Indies. Is there? Yeah. No, I think of it who wants to go first? I don't care who. Cedric's watching Johnny Jr. He's like a bug. You can't just judge a book by the cover, man. It's something like this. Exactly what I had in mind. Yeah. He 
you as a heel got to be more aggressive. No, not you. Him. He was a face. Wait, I didn't know. Yeah, he told me he was heel. I was supposed okay. to heel. Well, he's got to be more. If he's, if he, if he's going to do the squat, she's got to be more aggressive. Yeah. You, come here with me. Oh. If you go for a lockup, you got him here, you know, you break it away. Yeah. Let him have it, you know? And then he's stay right on him. Get him over here. Take him into the corner. Let him sell for a minute. Walk that's around, look at the camera. Take him, watch that way. Take him this corner. Let him sell it. Bring him out. Maybe throw him a punch. Bam! Oh, oh. Out here. Again. Yeah. People see it. Yeah. You saw right. it. Come over here. Ah. Put foot slide. Ah. Pick him up. Yeah. Watch out. Now, let him sell. Oh, walk yeah. around for a minute. Oh. Look at people, you know? Oh. Go and stay on him. That's what you. That's the squash. Oh, I'm amped up now. Why? I like that. I'm gonna watch my knee though. Oh, geez, yeah, that's good. It's feeling that good. It's feeling spry. Huh? It's feeling spry. I know. So I don't stomp it. <laughs> oh, wow. See my point? Yeah. Just stay on. I go for a pin, but let him kick out. Take over. That's more of the idea right there. I saw you look at me when he was too close to the rope for your kick and yeah. said, oh, what'd I do? <laughs> That's right. You should have ran to that rope. I know. Came off and boom, hit yeah. me. You were awfully close. Because you're so close. That's why I moved up real close. But, but that's the idea. And you kept working the camera, looking at camera, and that's what I wanted you to do. Yeah. It was a lot more dominant that way.